Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief at TheServerSide.com, and I want to quickly show you how to configure NGINX as a load balancer. Now, as you can see, I've got NGINX running on localhost right here on port 80, and there's also a Java application running on port 8080. It's also running on port 8090. It's NGINX that I would like to use as a load balancer to spray requests to those two servers running whenever somebody comes in and says localhost slash sample. So I need NGINX to act as not only a load balancer, but also as a reverse proxy. So how do we do it? Well, I'm going to open up the NGINX installation folder. I've got it installed under Etsy. I'm going to have to scroll down to NGINX here. Open up Sites Available. And you'll notice there's this default file, which I want to edit. I'm going to edit it in nano. So we'll do a little sudo nano default. Throw in my password for Ubuntu and I get into the configuration file. Now, here's the first thing you need to do. You need to set up your cluster and you set that up by using the upstream entry. And I'm going to create a sample cluster. I'm going to call it sample cluster because, well, the application is called sample and I am creating a cluster here. And what are the different nodes? What are the different servers that are going to participate in this cluster? Well, the first server is going to be localhost running on port 8090. And the second will be the server running on localhost 8090. 80. And there's the server running on localhost 8080 right there. So you set up this upstream configuration, you give it a name, sample cluster, and then you move down into the server configuration. You'll notice that I've already got one location that says, well, any file request that comes in, try to find the file. And if you don't find it, give a 404. I now want to set up a new location of my own. And in this case, I'm going to say, hey, I'm going to set up a new location. And specifically, if anybody comes in and says slash sample, what I want to do is I want to workload balance between the different servers that are part of my cluster. And so to do that, I set up a proxy pass. Now this will actually tell NGINX to work both as a reverse proxy and a load balancer. This says anytime someone comes in for slash sample, send the request off to HTTP colon backslash backslash sample cluster. That's the name of the cluster of the upstream that I configured earlier. And specifically to a member of that cluster, slash sample. So that might be localhost 8080 slash sample or localhost 8090 slash sample. And so those are the two changes you need to make. Set up the proxy pass for the location that you want to use for a reverse proxy slash sample. The sample cluster maps to that upstream configuration. And here you see sample cluster maps to localhost 8090 and localhost 8080. That should be it. So I'll do a control O, I'll do a control X. I get out of here and I think maybe I should just do a sudo service nginx restart. Now that will restart nginx and let's see what happens now if I go localhost slash sample. Boom, all of a sudden I get to the Tomcat application running on, well, it's actually running on port 80 because I actually put a little token into port 80 where it would display 01 and you can see that being mapped here. But let me do a refresh. Notice now it's 02. That means it must be going to port 8090. Let's do a refresh, 01, 02. I could do this all day long. But there you go. We have now successfully configured engine X as a reverse proxy and we've also configured engine X for load balancing. Now, you can make some changes to how NGINX does load balancing. So, for example, you might want to add a waiting. So you can wait these servers. So watch this. Perhaps localhost 8090 should be weighted with the value of 10. And then maybe 
we will weight 8080 of a value of 20. And I don't know, maybe even you've got another server, localhost 8070, but perhaps it's down and you don't want to route request to it at all. In that case, you can actually just put the word down in there and request won't get mapped to it at all. So let me now save this, control O, control X to get out of here. Let's do a little restart of this service. And now let's come over here to localhost slash sample. And notice we're seeing 01 twice as often as we're seeing 02, which would be a precise mapping to the fact that we put one server at twice the weight of the other. And so now we're actually weighting those servers. And by the way, one of the other settings that I often see put in here is a setting for an IP hash. And this will try and route a request that comes in to the same server each time. So you can do IP underscore hash. And that's a very common setting that you will see when we do an Nginx reverse proxy as well. But there you go, that is it. That's how easy it is to configure Nginx as a reverse proxy and configure Nginx as a load balancer. The key, this upstream entry where you define your cluster and you define the servers that participate in it. And then finally, this Nginx proxy pass entry where you map the re reverse proxy, the URL that you wanna use to a URL on that cluster that you configured in the upstream. And there you go, that's how easy it is to configure Nginx as a reverse proxy and a load balancer. If you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. We got lots of great tutorials on Nginx, Docker, DevOps tools, enterprise development, Git, GitHub, you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at Cameron MCNZ and please subscribe on the YouTube.